Alrighty, folks, it is finally time. I'm coming clean. This is the truth. Shoo! What's going on, folks? Welcome back to another video. Before we jump into it, gotta let you know that Beefcake Jerky just dropped over 50,000 bags of jerky over at beefcakejerky.com tonight as of right now. It is live down in the description. You will find the link that you click. They'll take you to the website. We also have the brand new flavor of pork sweet heat, which is by far my favorite flavor we've come out with. A bunch of you guys that ordered the holiday bundle got it, and the feedback was insane. Everybody's saying this is way better than anything else you guys have already out there on the market, so you guys need to click the link down in the description down below and go check it out. But behind me here, inside the Beefcake Jerky truck, we just picked up a ton of brand new pallet racking because we ran out of space. We've been ordering so much jerky that we had to order more pallet racking to fill up the warehouse so we can get our new shipment of jerky for you guys that is available on the website right now. So we're gonna get all the pallet rack unloaded, built. We've got brand new jerky coming in soon. And like I said, it's available right now at beefcakejerky.com. Hopefully you guys enjoy. All that power rack. How does that make you feel? I like it. More we got more room. More room. So we didn't have any. We basically put power racking on just the outskirts of the building because we didn't really know what we were doing. We still don't, clearly. So we added this entire row here, that entire row there. We also added this row here, and we added that row here. Like, this is what's crazy. This entire bay right here, that's just boxes that we just received like a day ago. It's just all these boxes are here. We also have an outbuilding. Vic Jr.'s over there. How's that going, Big Jr.? We have a whole outbuilding filled with just boxes. Like, you, it's the stuff that you don't think about. You're like, yeah, we're gonna make some beef jerky. And then you gotta find a place to put the boxes. It don't make no sense. So we got all the jerky here. This is all jerky. We've got more coming as well. This is all the jerky that is on the website available right now, as well as some new bundles, which is what I mentioned in the beginning of this video. And as you guys know, stuff sells out. So this is the sample bundle. You get pork teriyaki, beef pepper, beef original, pork sweet heat, pork honey barbecue, a sticker, and a koozie all in one package. So if you wanna try them all, maybe you're new and and you haven't tried any beefcake jerky, you got the sampler pack. Now, if you want to try the new pork sweet heat, or you've already tried it and you think it's amazing, you get four packs of it, as well as a koozie, as well as a decal, and this, a tumbler with a magnetic lid. So if you already know you like the pork sweet heat, or you think you're going to, you can be a big pork sweet heat guy and just get the pork sweet heat bundle. Moving over, we got the baby bundle. We brought it back, ladies and gentlemen, this time with a t-shirt. Typically, we only have a hat. We've got this t-shirt and this hat, little icy hat. This looks like a U hat. Oh yeah? Yeah, it looks like a hat you would wear. Let's see it. All right. Look at that. Yeah. 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 Nice Leave the sticker on too that, so I didn't know you're cool. Yeah, that's a, clean, hey, that's a clean hat. So you get that hat as well as the koozie. You get all of the flavors plus the t-shirts. Like the sampler plus merch. And keep in mind, all bundles are heavily, heavily discounted. Last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, we've got the jumbo bundle, which comes with two of every single flavor we offer, as well as the dog jerky, as well as the stickers and the sticker pack and this hoodie that you've got on. Yeah, snow camo. S snow camo. I love it. So that's, I, yeah, one of my favorite designs, one of my favorite hoodies. So you get all of them, you get two of each, and I'm gonna give you guys a little something sum. If you're one of the first 100 people, you gotta be the first 100 to order the Jumbo Bundle. So if you're not, if you're watching it at this point of the video, you better go to the website now. I'm gonna give you a free signed tumbler. This is a free tumbler. It doesn't come with the bundle, but the first 100, we're just gonna throw in the box for free, signed, and it comes with all this stuff to only the first 100 people that buy the Jumbo Bundle at beefcakejerky.com. So, hope you guys enjoyed the little montage here. We feel like we've got some more space. 2024, we got some new flavors coming, even some new products coming, new pallet rack. We are making some progress out here at the Beefcake Jerky HQ, but that's not what today's video is about. Today's video is about explaining a situation that we're in and just coming clean once and for all so you guys know the truth. We'll see you guys at the house. 
What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? All right, we are back at the house. Now, it's time to get into what this video is about, okay? We gotta, I gotta come clean. I gotta be honest with you guys. There's been some comments, lots of comments. In fact, I'll pop up a bunch here about the backyard pond. I haven't really talked about it, and I haven't given you guys any updates. And as you guys know, we sold a bunch of stuff, you know, to help try to generate revenue for it. And then, you know, winter kind of came, and I got busy with jerky and some other stuff. And so you guys are wanting an update. That's what I'm seeing in the comments. And I figured now's the time. We got to give you guys an update. We are down at the animals. I did want to give you guys an update on the animals. They're doing good. Still in a winter wonderland out here. Isn't that right, Ricky? Come here, Ricky. Everybody misses you, Rick. Come here, buddy. You hanging in there, buddy? You can see Ralph's covered in hay. He's hanging out. Carol's over there. The goats are hanging out. Everybody's nice and warm. The rabbits are good. Deb's good. Pork chop's good. And the chickens, we actually upgraded it. We were filming in here earlier, and you guys were like, I think your chickens are going to get cold. So we ended up heating this place up. You don't even see your breath in here. Hey, how you guys doing? You guys having a good time? All right. So we added the tarp here, okay, which helps with keeping the heat in because in the back, I've got a literal space heater. They're pooping on it. Yep, I covered it in plastic. I knew that would happen. Like an actual residential space heater that's pumping heat. I mean, where I'm at here, it's like really warm. Actually, I've got a, sorry, I got, I'm gonna get distracted here. Just give me a second. All right, so now I'm in the warm hut here. We've got a thermostat. This light bulb looks like it maybe burned out. Huh, that burned out, but here, we've got a thermostat. Right now, inside this chicken coop, it is 62 degrees, ladies and gentlemen. So all you haters saying, my chickens are gonna be cold, I beg to differ. This thing is pumping hot, hot air. Plus, heat lamps here. These guys are comfy and cozy. But again, that's, that's not what this video is about, but I just wanna give you guys an update on that. So, the pond situation. So here's the deal with it. We just, I've, I've never been so indecisive in my life. Well, maybe that might be exaggerated, but I've been very indecisive on this one. I can't make up my mind on what exactly I should be doing here. All right, how's that? Perfect, I don't have to hold it. Okay, so like I said, I've been very indecisive on this deal and I haven't given you guys an update. You deserve an update because I feel like we dug the pond, we tried filling the pond, it didn't work. I told you what the plan was, we're gonna bet night clay it and then radio silence. It seemed like we moved on, right? We got the new lease, we built a new duck lake that actually worked and we got busy with everything else. The holidays hit, whatever. I owe you guys an explanation. So like I just said, we built the pond, we tried filling it, it didn't work. And we spent well over $100,000 doing that. So once it didn't work, I had to figure out what am I gonna do to make it work? What are my options, okay? So one option is fill the hole back in, act like you didn't do that, which would also cost a bunch of money. Bring in bentonite and clay, put a layer of clay, a layer of bentonite, and a layer of clay, sandwich it, then fill it with water, and cross your fingers that there's no leaks, or get a giant, the world's largest, well maybe not the world's largest, but a giant rubber liner, just like we did for the fish hatchery, but you're talking like 50 times bigger than what we did on the fish hatchery. And there's pros and cons to all of it, okay? The the liner, okay, the pro is it's probably ain't gonna leak. The downside is it's just as expensive as betonite and clay. It's not as natural. You've got a liner that could potentially erode and decay and, and fail over time. You might get your crankbait stuck in there and pop a hole. I don't know. I don't know how strong these liners are, okay? Your other option is the clay and the betonite, which if it works, that's the best way to do it, okay? because it's a natural clay line deal. Like you watch Bama Bass, that's what he did. He threw some, some clay in there and it worked. The problem is if it doesn't work and there's no guarantees in that, you're back to where I'm at now and it's gonna cost another $150,000 to bet nine clay and you still may not have a pond. So now you're talking well over a quarter million dollars for this little hole in the ground to hold water so you have fish in your backyard and it still won't hold water. So I got really nervous and I just stopped. And that's not like me. I'm typically not the kind of guy just to stop. I'm usually a go, 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 figure it out, go to the next thing, problem solve and just make Make sure we get the objective done and something told me just hold up like I even had the bet night and clay estimated bid it out ready to go and like with if I text one person all of a sudden truckloads of it are gonna show up to my house and it's going I mean we were that close to doing it and something told me don't do it just wait you need to figure something else out it just it's it, something in my gut told me don't do it and so it wasn't like me to just like hang up the hat and put ever you know the pond something cool like that on the back burner but that's exactly what I did is I put it on the back burner because I didn't know what to do. And to be honest with you, I still don't know what to do. I need your guys' help in the comments. What would you do? Would you get a liner or would you get bet night and clay? Like I said, there's pros and cons. You know, I've had some bids for liner pushing six figures, depending on if you're gonna have an underlayment, if you're gonna have seams. That's the other thing. With a liner, you have a seam in it. To me, that's number one where it's probably gonna leak. And then now you're draining your pond, you're fixing your pond, you're moving your fish, you're killing your fish. Like building a pond where you shouldn't build ponds is not a lot of fun because I just don't, it's really tough. And all of you guys commenting, Flea, you should have got soil samples. I know, 
damn it, I'm aware. Here's the thing. This property was so perfect for so many reasons. It was the right amount of acres. You could deer hunt out here. A great spot to put a nice house. A great spot to have your farm animals. If I would have tested the soil and it would have came back as not good for a pond, I would have bought the property anyways. And I probably would have still tried to build a pond anyways because everything else about the property is perfect minus the soil is not good for building ponds. So uh, although you guys have a good point and if you guys are out there looking to build a pond, go get a soil sample, get it tested to figure out if this is going to hold water. Because I've learned the hard way. This is like the second time, okay, at the ranch. Our ranch one doesn't necessarily not hold water. We just haven't had much rain. I'm still crossing my fingers on that one. We'll have to see. So I need your guys' help in the comments. Should we line it or should we put, do a clay and bent night? Do any of you guys have experience in this that can advise me? Keep in mind, our well is only 25 gallons per minute is all the water I can get out of it. That's the issue. If we had as much water here as we do at the duck lease, you probably could have the pond right now because there's a ton of, there's like 900 gallons a minute coming out of that sucker. We have 25. So I need your guys' help in the comment section down below. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a promise to you guys. Hold me to it, damn it. This spring, when all this snow melts, we will, in fact, make a decision on one of the two and we're gonna swing for the fences and we're gonna build a pond, damn it. Whether it leaks again or not, whether I waste $100,000 or not, I don't know. But we are going to try again. But by the time it came around to where I was ready to make a decision, I got cold feet, I backed out, snow came. Now we gotta wait. Now we gotta wait at least until probably March. So I've got like two months to figure out what I'm gonna do, source the product, and we're gonna do it together, ladies and gentlemen. You guys are supporting the channel. We're gonna do it. The pond is going to happen. I just gotta figure out how to do it. But I'm hoping to come on here and get some help from you guys. This isn't the end of the video. In fact, we're gonna show you the pond. In case you're new here, or if you wanna see what it looks like while it's covered in snow, the boys are on the way, Big Junior's on the way, Band's on the way, Jake's on the way. We're gonna take you out to the pond, show it to you, and because there's a bunch of snow, we might just go sledding. You guys stay tuned. here boys we're at the pond this is what she looks like now a big hole filled with snow so i figured why not bring out the toys you got tweedledee and tweedledum over there that said they want to go sledding <laughs> big junior's ready Dude, i got cold and wet on that it's gonna <laughs> it's gonna be fun big junior brought his ice pick for the pond you got the pick in case well, what you, fall, you in. fall in jokes on you there's no water right that's a good joke actually i'll give you credit on that one that's that's a good well they're here that's a good accident. slap in the face just being like oh, yeah for the water i explained to them for eight minutes that's why there's not water do you know why it's, it's because hole. it leaks it's a lot and I didn't make a decision on a liner or clay, and I still haven't made one, and they have to make the decision for us. And whatever they go with, I told them I'm gonna trust you with my money, which is probably a mistake. Yeah. But I trust you guys. So, like I said, the pond's here. You see the feeders there? That's where we used to have fish, rip. We still have the hatchery, but we figured, you know, once we line it, okay, and once we fill it with water, we will never be able to do what we're about to do right now again. You guys stay tuned. All right, so we need to get to the bottom of the pond. The easy, where are you going? I think this is your peninsula. Well, I guess you do whatever you want, Big Junior. You should go right to the side of yeah, it. Yeah, so you, you should go, go right down here, Big Junior. Where it's, you know, just a straight vertical drop. <laughs> so we got to get the boys, got the ATV here. I'm going to drive down there, and the boys are going to sled down there. And we're going to see what's going to happen here. All right, Big Junior, here you go. See ya. Holy s***. <laughs> Jake, you're going to die. <laughs> it's deep as Right here. Big Junior you, sledding service. <sighs> Follow his track, you'll go faster. This is scary. Oh. No. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Uh-oh. There it is. Woo! Yeah. Get it. Get it! <laughs> than yours big junior a little bit this snow is good this snow is deep it's real deep you going for a ride you want to do get in this first yeah yeah or do you want to snowboard first well you said you want to stand huh? i'll do this first huh why well, do i feel like that's not how that get should work. the sled that's what i, I said this, you, don't you hold this in the no sled? the sled you i just tie you to me so i can sling you around uh, yeah, then i can't let go huh Couple grannies. one granny should do right <laughs> all right fine i'll give you two all right two grannies all you get buddy good luck pull forwards a little bit So this is really deep. Yeah. This might be tough. Yeah. Too bad we sold the snowmobiles. That'd be great. He's in. Son of a. Man, I really got hammered down. 
All right, you ready? Yeah. Let's try that again. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh! <laughs> that had to have been cold. Oh, my yeah, ass. he rolled on his back and the snow went right up his shirt. This is so, it's too deep. Like, you can't do it. I don't know how to keep you guys afloat. I think they should go tandem. Real. Here, baby, I'll get in there. <laughs> get in. Send his legs. Oh, scoop him down. down. <laughs> Why is this not a good idea? Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. Move your arms. I don't like this. I don't like this. <laughs> 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 Oh, There's so much snow in my ass. <laughs> this is such a bad idea. Like, great idea, way too much snow. Oh, I'm so cold. There's so much snow this in is, my pants. <laughs> this is bad. I thought we were going to be able to actually do this. This was like way worse than I expected. How do you oh feel? Cold. Yeah, I could imagine. Low key, I kind of want to sled down that though. Don't you think that'd be kind of fun or no? Like, just straight up. I think you'd go be fast. You think you'd go really fast? I think Big Junior should take you for a rip. All right, I'll do it. <laughs> All right, well, I'm already cold, so good luck. It's kind of hard. <laughs> yeah, I think he's going to eat more snow than you are. Think what? Nothing. I'm thinking this uh, one layer of hoodie and a t-shirt's really going to bite me in the ass. You at least had a vest. What's our safe word? Oh, yeah? I think you're better off not going in previous tracks. Yeah. Daddy's ready. <laughs> oh, no! Whiplash. God, oh shit. We gotta ride the slope. More? No, you're good. Right now. Oh shit. Ah, ah. Ride the car. Ride the car. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Yeah. Get it. Get it. Oh shit. Woo. 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 All right. Okay. All right. Here we go. How are you doing? How's it going? You just gotta ride that slope. You got it. You're good at that. Yeah. Dude, you were riding that thing. Holy You do look wet. Rather damp. I ain't, I ain't warm. Yeah, you just gotta really distribute your weight and ride it like tubing. That wasn't too bad. I'm wet though. You were going pretty fast. Hey, so you were. I'm really cold and wet. That was fun. Yeah. How you doing? How's that? You like that? Is that fun slide? Mm-hmm. You feel your toes yet, or? Mm -mm. Did you forget words? Mm -hmm. Everybody's just cold. He, he froze talk. up. He's so cold. Well, a little too much snow for the wheelers. Still a good time. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Remember, give us some advice. I wasn't trying to dodge the pond. I wasn't trying to, you know, convince you guys we're gonna do it and then change my mind. We're fully committed to doing it. But by the time we were ready to kind of sit down and make a decision, I didn't feel good about it. And then it got cold. And then it got snowy. And so it's kind of the deal there. But remember, if you want to support us and help with the pond, all right, link down in the description down below. I 
vpajerky.com. We just dropped all the flavors are in stock right now, as well as a brand new flavor, pork sweet heat, which in my opinion is the best flavor we've come out with. It's probably gonna sell it quick. We've got new bundles, new apparel, new jerky flavors, fully in stock, over 50,000 bags. Just got restocked tonight as you guys are watching this at beefcakejerky.com. We will catch you in the next one and peace.